Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have we got Cardi B setting the people on fire and coming through with a fire extinguisher. King Jane wants to drop an album. Yeah, I said that. Folks starting with Rihanna because they got nothing else to do. Kodak Black hiding cards under his chair. Honeycomb Brazy with the update. And then Shorty get on and lead a man for another man. Hey, yo. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, man. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, man. If you're feeling any part of the content, let us know you like us a little bit. You see what I'm saying? If, you have, if you've been watching the channel and you haven't subscribed already, go on and hit that subscribe button, man. You know how we get down, all right? Yo, Mercutio Howard came through and said, yo, man, I've been with no lights for five days. I'm in Fort Worth. I'm sad, cold, I'm helpless. Please pray for me. The city isn't helping at all. I have nothing, and the city officials don't care about the people. Pray for me. All right? Yo, man, let's, um, you know, if you're a prayer warrior or anything like that, man, be sure to throw up a prayer for the folks out there in Texas, man. I'm hearing that these cats got icicles hanging from their ceiling vents, man, because it's crazy out there, and the dude just came back from Cancun. Don't let me get started with that clown, okay? Uh, BD Howard, shout out to you. We're going to be referencing you a little bit later on in the day, all right? Now, first on deck. Were you aware of the fact that according to chart data, right, the single Up, Cardi B's single, is the highest debut and solo track by a female rapper on a Hot 100 this century since Lauryn Hill's doo who just hit diamond, she just had like, she had diamond right recently? I mean, that's not one of the stories today, but I just want to throw that out there. Now, of course, Cardi celebrated that particular feat, but you know how it is. You can't be celebrating too hard in these here streets because folks have to activate wet blanket mode and shut the whole joint down with a capital D. Anyway, right? Someone jumped in on the Twitter and stated under Cardi's celebration post, they said, quote, if it's one thing Cardi B loves doing, it's obsessing over music charts, close quote. Now, Cardi saw the post and you know she can't help but respond. She responded by saying, quote, it's obsessive when I do it, but not when other people brag about it, right? When I win, it's a problem, but when other artists discount their ish and do 100 things to debut high, it's not chart obsessed. Artists should be happy as F when they debut high, all of them, close quote. Then she added, I was talking my hot ish earlier, but on some real ish, Thank you, everyone. Body Gang, GP, music listeners, people who listen on their stories, TikTokers, artists, blogs, YouTubers, everyone who helped my record go number two at the on the billboard. I appreciate it more than y'all ever think. That's right, because we posted the story on that joint. So we kind of helped a little bit, even if we gave her one additional view. My thing is this, man. Why they harassing this lady? If if you did a presentation, right, and, and everyone in, in the class liked your joint, your joint was hot, then someone came along like, oh, if there's one thing you like doing is obsessing over when everyone acknowledging that you did a good job, sir, stop being a hater, man. Take several seats. You see what I'm saying? LeBron James wants to drop a rap album. Yeah, just let that sink in for a second. Now I know what you're thinking Sounds like he's about to, you know <laughs> Be popping out on Meek Mill any second now No, not so fast, okay Don't come for the king Apparently LeBron will not be rapping You know why? Because King James knows how to stay in his lane His Highness has posted, right? My love for music is insane I think I'm gonna do an album Oh no, I won't be rapping or anything like that I'm not crazy I know what I'm great at But I tell you one thing I do have so many friends that can just thinking out loud close quote it almost sounds like he wants to go to puff diddy route you p diddy route puff daddy whatever the hell man's name is right look lebron if you could change the culture in a redemptive direction i'm cool with it man if your boys talking about pulling up on cast and shooting and all that uh, and, and all of that is done on the court I'm cool. You see what I'm saying? However, if it's the same, I sell dope and I have a gun and bullish like that, you can keep those cats without a deal. You see what I'm saying? It's time the pendulum swing back in the direction of lyrical skills. Make the mundane sound impressive just to make the rest of these guys step their game up a bit. Please. Okay? So, you know how when you go to Twitter, you have a header and, and there's that pick behind your pick? Well, Rihanna has a pick of Martin Luther King, right? With some gold fronts on and a diamond studded earring. And some folks have taken offense 
to the image with one person saying, quote, What's worse than Meek Mill disrespecting Kobe Bryant or Rihanna disrespecting Dr. Martin Luther King? Are the effing people defending Meek and Rihanna? Close quote. I don't know how I feel about that, man. You mean to tell me if Mansa Musa's bones were discovered, right? And it was discovered that he had gold teeth. It wouldn't be a problem? Come on, man. Now, now y'all just looking for stuff because y'all don't got nothing else to do. I think it's noteworthy to point out, right, that Shorty just got jumped by members of the Hindu community for rocking the Ganesha necklace topless and accused of cultural appropriation. Sis, I, I guess the pendulum just happens to have swung in your direction. But I wouldn't really be sweating all that with the whole go front thing. I mean, come on, man. Suddenly now that's offensive. Get the hell out of here with that. We reported to you yesterday, right? That Kodak Black proposed to a young lady by the name of Mellow Racks, as in Marshmallow Racks. You know, soft marshmallows and, you know, racks. Well, did we mention to you that Shorty was 19 years old? You're like, what does that matter? Well, look, the human brain, right? The frontal lobe in particular regulates emotions, impulse control, problem solving, and social interaction. Translation, young marriages have incomplete brain development working against them. Don't get me wrong. It's cool to want to start a family, right? But, well, I mean, let me keep it going. Since Kodak proposed, right, another young lady popped out from behind the bush talking about, quote, I was just at his house in Florida, close quote, with, with a laughing emoji. Now, someone tried to check Shorty like, hey, yo, why are you telling though? And she responded by saying, because she thinks she doing something. Now, if that, close quote, now, if that ain't a hater point, point blank, I don't know what it is, man. Now, the young lady, I think she goes by the name of Trills, like something Trills, I don't remember her name, right, posted images of a tattoo she got of Kodak, which... It has suddenly become clear to me why she's so damn angry. You, sis, got attacked and she got a ring. Of course you tight about that whole joint. You see what I'm saying? You look like a duck at this point. You might as well have tatted a huge L on your forehead, man. Anyway, Shorty posted a dialogue between her, uh, what is it, her and Yak, which reads like something straight out of an episode of Catfish. It, 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 it goes a little something like this. Let me see if I can pull this bad boy up. The, the back and forth goes, it starts with Kodak saying something along the lines of, okay, boo, wait, I'll call you soon. She like, damn, you gone? No, no, no. I'm walking to get my bags right now. Let me know the F. Hold on. I'm finna get my bags, B. <laughs> I'm here pulling to the terminal. I thought you was there. I, I thought you was there. Pull into the terminal. Drop your pen. Okay. Just stay right there. I'm walking. I'm here. And then she posts a picture of the terminal. I'm sitting outside right now. Let me know when you close. I'ma help you, sis. It looks like your boy don't care, man. All right, go, go, go. Take a walk, okay? You got attacked. He got a ring for someone else. Keep it moving. You see what I'm saying? I mean, my thing is this: Is it really this easy, man? Like, man, had I, if I was a little bit younger, it would have been, a, it would have been a rat. I'd have been crawling with diseases by now. Cause these, a lot of these chicks seem so thirsty. It ain't even funny. Whatever. Now, we reported to you yesterday, right, a story concerning uh, Honeycomb Brazy and the demise of his grandparents. Well, now a few more details have emerged from Honeycomb himself, who stated on the gram. He said, let's see if we could pull this bad boy. He said this. Yo, stop saying my granny and grandpa got set on fire. They had COVID-19. Both of them was on oxygen tanks. They blew up when they was shooting in the house. I ain't ate or slept since, and I hear people say they'll do this or that, but at the end of the day, y'all ain't in my situation, and I know it's effed up how they did my people, but I'll never do nothing to no old people or kids to get back. It just ain't in me. My granny and grandpa ain't raised me like that. They wouldn't even want me to do that. It just ain't no real ninja-ish. God on my side, for sure. Just watch. Hashtag everything I do for y'all granny and grandpa from here on out. Love, y'all. Forever. And then he continued on and said, I ain't even made it to the city yet. And the feds calling me talking about a shooting and this and that. I'm like, damn, my people, my people the one dead in this ish. Brazy. All right. Now, we'll be sure to hit you with the deets on that developing tragedy. And finally, someone by the name of B.D. Howard came through in our comment section, right? And she came through, what is it, the night before last, and she quoted a line from Kanye's song, Gold Digger, when he said, and when he get on, he leave you for a white girl. 
Close quote. And then added, is it too early? Now, I responded to BD by saying, ah, too early, okay? But now I'm thinking about it, and it might have been too late, actually. Look, the line seems to ring louder now in the midst of Kanye's current dilemma. And the current dilemma for your boy is... Kim Kardashian has officially filed the paperwork for the divorce. And TMZ has reported that Kanye will not contest the divorce and is currently in deep negotiations on who gets the property. Now, the two will still co-parent the four, ch four children, but as we already know, Kanye is distraught over the breakup. Look, I'm hoping Ye has a strong support system as situations like this could exacerbate the depression I feel like your boy already suffers from. I feel like, uh, you know, a counselor or a therapist would definitely benefit my boy, right? But imagine if you were a counselor or a therapist. <laughs> I'm almost certain I could see the counselor storming out the session with tears in their eyes like, I can't take it. I can't take it. I have a degree. I am somebody. My own spouse doesn't yell at me like that. And when you look towards the room he emerged from, Kanye is standing in the doorway with his head slightly tilted to the side like he wants to continue the session. I mean, look, I can't imagine the session be easy. You know what I'm saying? For the therapist. You follow me? Now, surely there are some ladies currently filling out applications, but I'm not so sure my boy needs another headache at the moment. You see what I'm saying? I'm almost positive he ain't interested right now. On the other side, uh, miss, I can't take it no more. I'm afraid of how soon I'm going to hear about her and who she's linking up with. You see what I'm saying? I've already heard a name thrown around, but I don't want to be connected with a rumor that ain't verified yet. You see what I'm saying? Hey, yo, let us know what you think. If you end a marriage, right? What's the acceptable time period before you can start messing with the next person? Or, I mean, like, what's too short of a time period, right? Like, like damn, you, you was mad thirsty. You ain't even let it breathe. What's too long? Like, damn, Ninja, ain't nobody like you? And Kodak Black, was the proposal too early, man? I mean, is this other young lady trills a, a red flag for, you know, the young lady that just got engaged with Kodak? Yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.